first of all, let's do up the Manscaped thing. Mm. That Manscaped has always used the code WINNERS. WINNERS. 20% discount. Yeah. Free shipping. When you use the code WINNERS for Manscaped, you're not going to get a smoother, cleaner trim. trim you know, when like you're body grooming. Doug can co-sign. Doug can co-sign. Doug a... can co-sign. The man them have been talking, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man said the thing's pattern. Yeah, the group chat. You, my thing still. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I see it. Clean. I see it, and you know it clean, I, bro. I all put the um the leveler on. Shave the. Oh, you went. Oh, so you went. You yeah, went yeah, in, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to shave the little piece now, my legs. Mm. Mm. The leveler. What about gave the legs a little what a fade? A little fade. I fade. I went on 0.5. 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 I went on 0.5.
Mm. So I was like, when you say ASAP, can you know some man say ASAP? Yeah, yeah, it's like, three, four months later. Yeah, yeah, three months. So I was like, when you say ASAP, <laughs> we mean ASAP. He's like, bro, ASAP, get yeah. me a date. <laughs> so so said, so done. I gave him a date, sent it over, and from there we were rolling. Mm. Then you called me that evening, mm. and you said to me, like, some of the subject matter that you wanted to speak on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? So this is before that Hardy's put the statement out mm-hmm. and spoke on certain things. Because I want people to understand it's not like, it's not like we've seen this or thought, oh, let me try and take an opportunity, you understand? Or let mm-hmm. me try and clout mm-hmm. chase or something mm-hmm. like that. It's come from a genuine place. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? I had no idea of anything that was about to t- take place until you called me on Tuesday night. Yeah. You understand? And kind of told me what you wanted to speak on. So we'll start with this first. Start with this first. Like, before we get into the ins and outs of what you said in the, in your in your I call it a statement, but I don't know what the better word to call it would mm-hmm. be. Yeah. You, you, um, when you expressed yourself online, um, before we get there, what's the feedback been like from people since you spoke? Um, it's been like kind of crazy positive. You know, I didn't think it'd but, even be crazy positive. I thought, yo, like so this one's a bit risky. Still, this one's mm-hmm. a bit bold. Mm-hmm. So um, literally, like just pure like pure love in it because. Like I had the underlying thought, I was like, yo, if I've gone through this, you can start looking at people and sus, you've gone mm. through this, mm-hmm. you've gone through this, you've gone through this. Mm. And I'm like, why is no one talking? Mm-hmm. And I was like, why is no one talking? So, should, I, should I just talk? Yeah. And then it's like, on the night that I wrote it, like I'd spoken about it with someone and I was like, do you know, what? I'm a bit triggered, but let me just write something from, without thinking, like I didn't want to put it out. I didn't, I didn't have a plan to put it out, so I've written that in like a journal, like get it off my chest. Mm-hmm. I was like, instead of ever being strategic, like I don't want to be strategic, I just posted that on my socials because I was like, do you know what? I'm open with my brethren, I'm open with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And I was like, but like my fans and my supporters got me here. Mm-hmm. So let me start being that open mm-hmm. with them, innit? And it's like, if you rock with me, you rock with me. If you don't, you don't, don't. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel that, man. Mm. And the feedback's been real. The feedback's yeah. been good and loved. That's like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, I'm definitely. happy to hear that. Takes a lot of courage, man. Yeah, man. You know, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause you know what's mad? If I if I read that, I would have worded it differently. Yeah. Like, but I was like, nah, it's it's better that I just just yeah, yeah. I had the, the heart. Stream. Plus, if you overthought it, you might have just thought, actually, mm. no, nah, I'm not gonna post this. Exactly. Reading that, through yeah. it and then. Your yeah, mind starts talking to you. You get what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely, in it. And I think like with us artists and just even people in the public, we just gotta speak from our heart, not mm. our like, not our mind, in it. Because yeah. our mind will play tricks on us sometimes. Yeah, you feel mm. me? When you rang me on Tuesday night, you said you asked, "Am I cool with this being the top this this kind of subject, man?" Uh, to me, it's a no-brainer because. All I really care about is that you're gonna express whatever's best for yourself, anyway, or whatever you want to get across. So it was nothing, but mm. but I understood at the same time why he was asking me because mm-hmm. I guess some people might not be ready for those kind of conversations, but these kind of conversations are so necessary and so important, super yeah. important, super necessary because we gotta be able to speak our truth mm-hmm. straight, shooting from the hip. So. Let's go through the. I'm gonna go through it bit by bit, yeah. From what yeah, you, yeah, from that's what, calm, bro. From what you spoke on, and I'm gonna touch bit by bit. Now you said something that was once my therapy, your passion, has become torment and your anguish. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Talk a bit more about on that to me. So basically, like when I was coming up, like mm. um, I was just releasing that. Like, there was one year, 2015. I released 30 videos in one year. I was like, no, I was just like, yo, if I don't get 100,000 views in this year, I'll call it a day. So uh, let me now like try, try my best. Mm. So then I just had to go on autopilot because you can't think of that many songs. You just got to say, yeah. you got to just say things and like roll with the punches later. So then as I'm coming up, I'm just doing that. I'm doing that all of the time. Mm. So that. Like, that's how you get them songs like unsigned where I'm talking about girls in my uni and that because yeah. it's happening like today. Then, yeah. And then like, it's got to the point where I'm now signed with the label and we've got to best life. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then it's like, this has been a big win for them. 
and then it's like this follow up song isn't isn't in the same vibe, mm. but they're not sure now, and I'm like, but this is how I feel, and they're like, no, nah, but like like this one just went um, close to top twenty, and I was like, but that's not how I feel, mm -hmm. and then it ended up with me in the studio because I'm a workaholic anyway. I'm just in studio making songs, sending them, making songs, sending them, making songs, sending them to the point it's like three years later, I've got so many songs that aren't out. And it's like even thinking where to, where do you even start nowadays? Mm -hmm. Because it's like I've changed. As a, imagine how much you change as a person on a day to day. Mm -hmm. But then you've been in the public eye. You've had all these troubles. I'm like, bro, like, I start making a song and I'm already tired of it. Like not, I'm already tired of the process, should mm, I say? Because yeah. mm. I'm like, is this even gonna come out? Like, what order am I gonna put this out? Yeah. Like, because I always felt like I had a connection because I was so consistent with my audience. Yeah. So it's like they know, they know everything I'm saying is real. Mm, yeah. But now I've lost that connection because of all the gaps, all the gaps in my like career. Like, why are you taking them gaps? Because as far as you know, it's like with any friendship, if man go ghost and come back and act like nothing's happened, you'll be like, what's this? What, yeah, what yeah, are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What like, you what doing? happened? Yeah. Mm. So that's why I just got to the point. I was like, bruv, I've had a rocky two years. Mm. Let me just get that out, out of my system. Mm -hmm. You get me? But going back then, when did, you first, when did you first get a deal? When did you first get signed? Your first deal that a real... Late 2017. Late 2017. Yeah, so after I unsigned, I dropped like two songs after that, but unsigned was like the uh, main reason for the deal yeah 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 and what was that transitional period for you like going from you just trying to do what you're doing now you're in these rooms and this treatment then they're giving you the you know the big talk and the mm. all of the telling you selling you the dream you know what's mad yeah i was just on autopilot so i wasn't even deep in anything i was just still going mm. going like going to studio mm. and like um I made rapper and like um, that w that's what I would say is like a big song for me like a changing moment mm. because I was just like raw she must think I'm a rapper mm, I'm yeah. like raw I might be a rapper you know like I was like yo like I might be making it now do you get yeah, what I'm trying yeah, to say yeah. and then it was like but I'll be honest throughout that period I was drinking all the time yeah I was just yakking because I think when I look back I didn't want to feel anything. Yeah, you get me. So or I only wanted to feel in the studio. Like I just didn't really feel much. Yeah, yeah. So, that's the craziest thing about it. Yeah. So you felt kind of emotionally cut off, numb. Definitely. Is that how you felt in general before music? Did you feel that way through life? Going through life before we get to the other stuff you've spoken about. That's cool. Yeah. That you feel maybe of course this, this feeling, but going through life, um, home life, teens. Did you always feel? something was missing or you always thought kind of I was cut always off. cold like emotionless I was, yeah I was mm. always cold so like I didn't really like I knew what the emotions you're meant to feel in a situation mm. but I didn't really have it at that moment in time in it because mm. like when you speak to a therapist they say you're just suppressing 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 mm. to deal with everything so it's like the one thing I think I did have was like empathy but mm. other than that for myself mm -hmm. Like I weren't too sad, I weren't too happy, I was just moody, like I was mm. just work. Every emotion that I did feel led to work. Mm -hmm. It's like, you're happy, work. You're sad, work. Mm -hmm. Did it work? Did it go outside, you get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So I was just going outside all the time and just, I guess, running away from my thoughts in it. Mm -hmm. And then like, I was always listening to uh, music, always earphones in on the bus, always in like, just mm -hmm. zoned out. So I was like detached mm. in a way. Yeah. What, what, what did give you joy? What did you find joy? Music, is music your, cause some people that's what it is. That is their joy, that is their pleasure. What did you find joy in bro? I think it was just music, you know? Mm. It was literally just music, I think. I just like, yeah, I liked, I liked rapping at first, innit? Cause it was just like, yeah, like, I feel this, I feel this. And then um, what's weird is as soon as I popped off, I didn't like rapping no more. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't even like it no yeah. more. Why do you think that was? Do you think? Do you do you think? Did you feel like you didn't? It's a mad question. Yeah. Did you feel like you didn't deserve or didn't want to feel that happiness? Um, it's weird when you put it like that. I guess you could say that to an extent. I think 
I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to deep anything. So it yeah. didn't even allow me to feel the happiness in yeah. the moments. Yeah. Because, so, go on, Karen, go on. Yeah. So like, it's so weird. As soon as I started popping off, I started drinking way more. Mm. Yeah. And then it's just like, yeah, I'm in, I'm in everywhere and it's happening and I know it's happening, but I'm just not. Like, like trying to escape from it all. Like, yeah, I'm like trying to escapism. Uh, yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. And then I think when COVID happens, you're forced to sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now like you're forced to sit down. So I think that's where things slowly start coming to the surface. Mm -hmm. You get you me? Got, you get. You got your thoughts. You're alone with your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're at home. You're you're. There's no motion. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. Now you said you question like. I'm a built, I'm a supposed to be a rapper. When did them thoughts start coming into your mind? Is this uh, the same period you're talking about now? Um, I would always say that was an underlying thought in it. Cause I was mm. just like, I look at like, I look at rap, yeah. Once I got past like 18, I was like, I don't really want to be like a lot of man. Mm. Like I don't really like, by now, like bear, bear, bear my friends have either gone jail mm. or they're dead. Mm. So I'm like, why am I them still rapping about this? Like, mm. you, we don't like it. Mm. Like, like I wasn't happy that my friends are going thinking oh. I wasn't. Da, da, da. So I was just like, this don't make sense to me. So then, like I'm saying, I'm less emotional and overly logical at that yeah. point. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it don't make logical sense for me to even be a hood rapper. But then I'm looking at this now, and I'm saying, do I even fit into the landscape then? Because mm. I'm like, all the all, every rapper saying X, Y, Z, and and you're saying you're living your best life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but is that part of escapism and why, if you're so much grimness going on, so much, like you said, people dying, personal turmoil, yeah. things going on in your own mind, you're making happy tunes. You just want to yeah. feel good. Mm. Yeah. In my opinion, tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, no, no. So definitely, I think you got it right on the head. So during that period of my life, I was, um, like I said, like, I think I would drink to feel something mm. and then I would make the song and then yeah yeah so so once I'm in the escapism mood I just want to be happy mm. yeah. so but when people saw me I think there was a disconnect they're like he's not that happy go lucky like what's yeah, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on like mm. people will see me and I've got like the straightest face and I'm like I don't know <laughs> I don't yeah. know what to say cuz I kind of like where you're where you're young and you're going through that it's almost like I'm so self-absorbed. I thought everyone knew where I was coming from. Yeah. Because I was like, yo, so I would even get more frustrated because I'm like, you're from the ends like me. So you should rate what I'm doing because I've done this without even having looking like I'm from the ends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the dream? Because rappers are all like, we love the, um, we don't love the hood. And mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. But I was like, I think the self-absorbed side of me wanted like, the love, in it. Yeah, like, yeah, I wanted yeah. the love from it. I was just like, bro, I'm. You know, you should know I'm from ends, yeah, yeah. and I've <laughs> done this. And while well, you man are still kind of like talking out your neck, like you're mm. talking out your neck, like mm. I haven't done the mad, like the mad, mm, mm. the mad thing. Yeah. So um, to go back to what you're saying, I was just like, I think I needed that escapism because, you know, rappers make an ego based on what they're not. Mm. So a lot of hood rappers, I'm not saying every single one, but a lot of hood rappers make a hood ego because mm. they're not that hood. Mm. Mm -hmm. Whereas I made a happy ego. I'm not that happy, you know? You're not that happy. Yeah, I'm moody. I'm a moody bastard. Like, I'm whinging yeah. and shit. Like, you get me? And it's like, no. I think that's what I realised as I got older. Like, our music kind of fills a void of what we're not. Yeah, you're right. Mm. You're right. I hear, what you're, I hear you fully. All right, you spoke about, and you said, the environment that is put you in and the demons that is put you around. Yeah. Talking about the music, I won't, I won't say for you, who are you talking about and what are you talking about there, bro? I think to an extent, yeah, it sounds very like, I want to like elaborate because a lot of people think it's the label. Mm. I think it's everyone in and around it, isn't it? Because like, I don't see people as good and bad. I see mm. them as like, we have, we have sides, isn't it? Mm. And I think, once you get once you get here, a lot of insecurities fester in you, mm. and then there's a lot of people in the buildings with insecurities. Everyone's projecting it, and then like if you talk about it in a faith sense, if you walk with God, like mm. you shouldn't be that scared, mm. or you shouldn't be that thingy. But I think everyone's demons start eating them up, like their mm. identity crisis, their mm. anxieties, their da -da 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 -da. like mm -hmm. 
and it's just I think I had demons. You get what I'm saying? I might still have demons, yeah, isn't it? But, but I think it's not as logical as we're the good guys, they're the bad guys. I think it's just humans. That's right, we yeah. all have good and bad, yeah. essentially. Mm -hmm. So I was like, so that's the labels, that's the rappers, that's the everyone. Like, mm -hmm. you get me there. Tables, exactly. girls, yeah. everything, bro. Every, the whole everything. thing. Yeah. Everything, everything, everything that's come with it. Yeah. Because when you're thrust into the line like the way you are, yeah. at a young age as well, you're going to see you're going to see a lot of people's, if you can see it, and you mm. seem like you're quite switched on, you're going to see a lot of people's true colours. You're yeah. going to see how people act around you. And you seem like you're very analytical and, and observant. So you're going to see it for what it is. You're going to see the demon in them coming out yeah. at times. You understand that in response to, in, as a result of what you're accomplishing. And definitely. it can be lonely as well. Did you feel isolated by your success? Um, definitely. I think I felt isolated growing up anyway. Mm. So when, once I got here, I was just like, Nah, none of you man get it, you know. Like I was just like, like I should feel happy right now. Why don't I feel happy? I was like, mm -hmm. I should be happy right now. I actually know that I should be happy, so I don't feel happy. What's that about? Mm -hmm. And then I think I had to sit down with myself and even hold my hands up and say, I think I'm a little bit of a narcissist, man. You get me? Like you're empty. That's why you want all of this you want the ambition to fill up the void mm. of what was there what wasn't there when you were growing up mm. so it's like i want the i want the love i want the girls i want the money i want all of that because i didn't have any of that growing up mm -hmm. so it's like yeah man i think well, yeah you brought me perfectly to it now um tell me about growing up bro tell me about mm. your environment growing up so, so from as far back as you want to go to wherever so basically, like, I'm a refugee, in it. Mm. Like, well, I didn't grow up in the war, but a lot of my family did, in it. So once we moved to England, I was, like, four years old. Mm. And um, we were living, like, a bed and breakfast. And mm. uh, eventually we moved to an estate in New Addison. Mm. That's in Creighton. Yeah, you know it. And then um, what what I would say is, like, my, my memory is very vague, but my household is very violent mm. do you get what i'm trying to say so it's like there's a lot of lying in my household because obviously the situation so if we talk about the sexual abuse mm. i didn't know about that till i was 25 but i think not even i think my parents did for example so it's like i think they're both lying to each other because my mom my mom's scared to probably leave my pops my mm. pops is that they're stuck with each other so mm. it's then i'm the I'm the medium now, like, mm. yo, don't tell your pops this, don't tell your um, mom this, don't do this, don't do this. So then I think that's made me a liar in my younger years mm. to the point that like, I, I've got a memory that I'm mad annoyed about. Like when I was younger, like I lied about having a PlayStation and I was like, I'm thinking back, I'm like, why was I lying about that? Mm -hmm. But it's all I, I think that's all I knew growing up. Mm -hmm. So then, um, that coupled with the violence, I had a bad temper in school. Mm. Like I had the worst temper. Like it's like, pew, someone says something, I'm fighting. Mm. Pew, something, so, someone says something, I'm said something, I'm fighting. Mm. So then, as you're growing up, like um, my brother, my brother's like 12 years older than me. He was, mm. um, he was in whatever he was like. I think he was like in blood set. Like, I, mm. that, don't hold me to that one, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, he loved like Tupac and that growing up and like Outlaws and all of that shit. Mm. And then it's like, you're showing me about um, free fives, ounces, da -da -da -da. Mm. and then I'm seeing like cartridges. So then by 10 years old, I'm just chilling with bare old niggas. Mm. And it's like, you're in the gang. And I was just like, yeah, I'm in the gang. Mm -hmm. You get me like, but I'm 10. Mm. So then it's like, I've, because no one's guiding me any other way. Like no one's really at my house because my mom's always working. My dad's like back and forth from Africa. It's like, I take everything literally. So if there's like, yo, you do this, I'll go do that. They're like, yo, if someone talks to you like that, go bad them up. Mm -hmm. Like if someone do that, like, like my, um, I had a cousin that used to slap me if I ever looked away from someone. Mm -hmm. He's like, don't look away from them. Look them in the eye until they look away from you. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, it's, so I've got to like maybe like 14, 15, just on that, mm. like that's that's my vibe. And then what happened was um, in a situation, I think I had a harsh reality call. So I was in a party with my brethren at the time. And then like Bear Man went into the party and I was like, 
it was one of my brethren's birthday. I was like, do you want them in the party? He said, nah. I was like, cool, I'll handle that. I turned on the lights. I said, you man, get out. Mm. And then they're like, wow, we bought girls. I was like, nah, get out. And then flipping, they've all backed out like, they've backed out like whaps and nags. Mm. Mm. And I'm just smiling and everyone, I turn around, all my brethren are gone. So mm. I'm in the, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the party by myself. I was like, what? Yo, mm. so I've cut now myself, innit, mm. yeah? But when I was cutting, my pride was hurt, innit? Mm. And then I looked at everyone, and I was just like, I thought you lot were like me. Mm. Like, I'm by it, by it, like, mm. at that age anyway. And I was like, this is stupid. I was like, you man aren't by it. This, uh, this, none of you man are by it. I was like, this hood shit is stupid. Because, mm. like, literally, I was, cut, I was cutting then, yeah? But I was like, imagine... Imagine I didn't cut. Or imagine this is a, what what would you man have said? Mm. Mm-hmm. I'd just be another person on a t-shirt mm. because I was looking after you, and I used to do that for everyone. I was like, "What are you happy with that?" And I'll be like, "They'll be like, no," nah, and I'll go deal with it. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, but I think all of that frustration and all of that like anger just comes from the fact that I was little man at home. Mm-hmm. You get me? So it's just like, yeah, man. I think I had a lot of like, yeah, I had. Just a lot when I was growing up, man. Listen, you, it's why I've, I rate you. I rate you highly because you've just covered a whole load of things in a kind of matter of fact kind of way because you've conditioned yourself that way now. Like, mm-hmm. it is yeah. what it is. You're, you, you're basically saying, like, it is what it is. This is what we're on, that's what we're on, and here I am now. And I get that. Yeah. I get that, bro. I can relate to that. Yeah, as an older man, but I can relate to that. Yeah. It is what it is, but here we are now. The kind of attitude I would have where I'd say, well, if there was no that, there would be no this, and we just got to move like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to take it back to that, bro, you've covered a lot there. So you spoke about the sexual abuse side of things. I don't know how much you want to go into what you're going to cover, but yeah. do you know at what age um, that kind of thing was going on? Like three, three to five. Imagine. You get me? And your memory, you, you came, you you mem- remembered this at what, uh, as an adult. It's, as it's an come. adult still. And is that when you spoke to your parents about it, or do you feel, or you've got, or you've got memories of saying something before when you were nah, young? I spoke to them. I just asked them if it's true. Oh, like, as a as a man. Yeah. You asked them. Yeah, I asked them, and they're like, my mum was just like, yeah, yeah. She's like, I, I hope she wouldn't know. And I just asked the person if this happened, and then they were just do shuffling sort of thing. Like I called the person, and they were just had some weird conversation, like a very, like. Like, you know when you're chatting to a ting, like you're locking her off or something, but it's a man. And I'm like, rah, you're a bit weird, isn't it? Like, this is weird. Mm-hmm. Like, like, he's like, you know, you know, I, like, you know, I love you. I said, what? Yeah. Do you know the question I just yeah, asked you? Yeah. And then flipping, I just had to like, I said, yeah, man, next day I called the therapist. Like I called and started, well, started sorting therapy, started jogging. I said, yeah, man. This has happened, this is very sad, and I know it's gonna be a difficult period, but man gotta pick up the pieces, because if I don't, who will? So who were you on the phone to when you say you spoke, dear, dear? I don't want to talk, talk, you don't want to mention that person. Not a name, but you're talking to the person who you feel the abuser. Yeah, the abuser. And what, that person just walking around now? Yeah, 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 man. I think it's like, where is family? I'd rather not say the name of the. Of yeah, yeah, no, understandably, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you to, bro. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. want you to. I'm just asking. This, I'm just. So we'll just say the abuser. Yeah, you understand. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't expect you to say the name. Yeah. Because I know. See, this is the thing as well. Culture as well. What I'm not gonna say too much. I'm saying our culture. I don't wanna bait it up too much. But I said it to. I said it on the weekend, like to Doug after you put the statement. Out, I said, we all know how black culture is, and when. Uh, so I've said it now. But when the. Um, Certain things go on. Sometimes it's like, oh, don't say nothing. Don't say everything's it's gonna. Very pr- yes, everything it's very you'll get. Pr- why have you put that out there for? You understand? Mm-hmm. You get calls from overseas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything touch touch. You get yeah, calls yeah, from. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was imagining that, like the 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 pressure that you might have on yourself with this going on. Yeah. But, but then all I could take from it to kind of make me feel more at peace with it is that I'd spoken to you mm-hmm. and heard your energy. Yeah, 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 and I, and I, and I felt from speaking to you the, few, the the times we spoke on the phone, I felt that you you feel that you're on a certain level you're in control of the situation and you're Definitely. you're you're dealing with it in the way that you feel is best for yourself. So you said you, you said you um, were you in therapy before then or is the therapy just since? No, before then. 
for using your therapy. How long have you yeah. been do, doing therapy for? And that's um, a great that's a great thing, by the way. I, yeah. I, I salute and commend it's you for that. Bro. I salute and commend you for everything that you're doing, bro. Like bro. everything you're doing, like man has to big you up to the utmost. Mm. Cause man's own, man speaking his truth and man speaking it clear and loud and you're Clearly. gonna make make things better for someone else that's going through the yeah. same things. Cause we grow up in fucked up situations. We'll see some shit behind closed doors that we won't speak on mm-hmm. or we'll hold it or mum or someone will say, no, you can't talk that you're gonna embarrass the family. We grow up like that, you feel what I'm saying? With that, with that pressure or they're in denial of it. Mm-hmm. It goes on more, it, bro, it's, it's more, it's more common than you'd probably know. And probably you're gonna get to hear from more people as time goes by that will mm-hmm. hit you up and say, you know what, such and such, but they won't want to put it out to the public. So I have to yep. salute you. I have to commend you. You're mm-hmm. you're a soldier, bro. You're brave. Prop, that's proper masculine shit to put yourself that's out there like that bro. and 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 talk it how you was talking it, mm-hmm. how you talking it. So yeah, the therapy you've been doing that for a while now. Is it, you find it helping? Um, yeah, I think it definitely helps, innit? Like I think uh, it just helps you process it. How does it affect you in adult life? Like, what do you would like? things that I've done that I didn't understand why I've done it. It's mm. like, oh, okay, now I get it. And now I can kind of move on, like, rather mm. than feel like, was I a bad person? Was I this, this, this? You just, we're all just victims of circumstance in a way, innit? Factual. And it's Factual. And that's not to like dissociate from what we do, innit? Like, mm. but it's like, was there any other way if you don't understand yourself? Mm-hmm. How's it affected the relationship with your parents since? Um, me and my pops ain't that cool anyway, but me and my mum were closer now. Because before I was quite removed from them, mm. but I, I instinctively, but I didn't get that. So it was kind of a thing where like, I felt like I was fucked when I was growing up. Because I was mm. like, like, the way youths would talk about their Marge or the way youths would talk about their mm. pops, I was mm. like, I don't feel that. Mm. Yeah. But I didn't know why. Yeah. So, but I would never say that out loud, didn't it? I would never say that out loud because I know it's like, I don't want to be weird. So like when people were like, yeah, no, nah, like doing paragraphs on Mother's Day, doing paragraphs on Father's Day. Yeah, I was, man, couldn't relate to that. Yeah, I was like, I don't feel this way. Mm. I don't feel this way. You're not alone in that. Yeah, you're, you're not yeah. alone in that, bro. Yeah, trust you're not me. alone. This yeah. is what it is. And why you're good as well, because even what you're saying then, then growing up, it's just the people that you'd hear and maybe less people will say their complete truth. But now, social media, everyone's just giving this best, this best life kind of picture yeah, they yeah, want to yeah, give. Yeah, yeah. And then painting, you, the painting the picture of just life that's just always perfect. Mm-hmm. And then you just seeing this picture that's always perfect and thinking, right, I want to be like that. Mm-hmm. I want to get that deal. I want to do this, that, the other. Then when they get it and it's nothing like what they expect it to be, now they feel even more empty than they did in the first place. Cause it's like, right, but I thought everything, I thought once you get the bread, that everything's going to be yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that means that climate. I'm going to wake up every day and, and be the happiest man in the world, the happiest woman in the world. Mm-hmm. Like, don't go like that. We need real stories. We need yeah. real reality checks. Yeah. Um, because it will help people early doors start to think about the things that they might not realise that they need in their life before the success comes. You get what I'm saying? Because you, you start chasing the money and the goals and you think that's what you need. Mm. But then when it comes, like you say, people are empty. Do you get what I'm saying inside? And it's not really what it is that they're looking for. Do you get me? 100%, 100%, man. Mm-hmm. I think it's just, um, you know what they say? I feel like music's a mental game. Well, a lot of life is a mental game, mm-hmm. in fact, yeah, not music. Like, if you're not straight mentally, mm-hmm. things will always fall, fall over. 100%. No matter how far mm-hmm. you get. No matter, no matter what you've got or how mm-hmm. far you've got. Yeah. Um, you said, yeah, go ahead. I open that, yeah, bust that, yeah, bro. Bust that, bust that yeah, yeah, anything yeah. in there you can. That's for you, my yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> would you what, what do you want to mix it with? Uh, maybe an apple juice, you know. Yeah. yeah, we've got some juice there. We can make that happen. Yeah, Doug, man, these things are important, my brother. Yeah. It's like, and you've got fact, to speak it. Go on. Got to speak it. And the fact that you're coming out, yeah, and talking about things, and it's like what you're saying. I think that also times are changing now, where. Even though, you know, like we went through a stage of like the influence or like you say, everything's happy, everything's dope, yeah? yeah. I think now times are kind of changing where mm. uh, for a lot of people, the influencer thing and that lifestyle ain't paying off. Mm. And we, like you say, we're, we're in a living crisis. It's real life issues for a lot of people oh, right so now. So many real life. You get what I'm saying? And I think so things like this, like you coming out, speaking about what you've been through and, and it's, it's that time, even like when we sit down and we talk about certain subjects on here, yeah? yeah? I think a lot of people relate to it because 
it's like, right, for the first time, people are stepping out and saying things that ain't trying to gloss over the lifestyle. No, we're, 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 we're talking it's it. real shit. Do you we're, get what I'm talk, saying? Bro, we're talking it and we're, and we're talking it plain as well. Yeah. Life's not easy. Life's hard. But life's hard. Yeah, and and life's everyone's not going easy, through stuff. <laughs> life's not easy. And, trust everyone, me. And, everyone, and the thing is, even with what you're saying, everyone's been through some form of whether it's parent, beef, this, that, like all different types of different things. So it's like mm. everyone can relate to something. But I think with the lifestyle and how things have been, everyone wants to pretend like everything's dope. Yeah. And that's the problem why possibly people suffer with the trauma and everything because they're not willing to face the actual facts of, right, this is where it is, or even speak about it. Do you but get what I mean? You end up alone with your thoughts at some this point. This is have it. To face it. But what it is, like, there's no chemicals. Like I said before, there's no chemical solution to a spiritual problem. Mm -hmm. So when you're having a drink, you're trying to escape. Mm. But it's in your spirit. That's where the problem <laughs> yeah. is. So when it stops, you're alone with the thoughts and alone with this. But what you've done there, I'm telling you, bro, like someone's going to relate to your exact story. A lot of people relate to your exact story. A lot of people mm -hmm. might relate to your exact story or mine. Mm -hmm. But we have to vocalise it and make it clear and stand for it. Mm -hmm. Now, you said in, the t in your thing as well, you said that um, the people inside them buildings yeah. convinced another kid. Talk to me about that. So I think with my situation, yeah, now that I've got older, mm. I could be I could be um, wrong, but I feel like you know when someone's got something a bit off about them. Mm. You know what I mean? And yeah, I feel mm -hmm. like artists as a whole, you can look at an artist and say, there's something a bit off about you. Mm -hmm. You get know what I mean? Even, and I'm quite vocal anyway, like I'm a sharer. So when I was in them buildings, I feel like it was clear to see I'm probably not in the right headspace. Yeah. So like I'm blase about everything. Like mm. the house could have been burning like there. Like whilst I was whilst I first signed and I wouldn't I wouldn't notice. Mm. Like I didn't even know notice that I had eyes eye problems until after the trauma. Um, trauma after I remember the trauma then I was like fuck I need to get glasses <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. so then basically I was getting managed by someone in the building and mm. um, again I think a lot of this started probably when um, when COVID started and then it's like I think I was probably at my most insecure now because I'm like you lot have slowed me down I've slowed myself down and it's just I just want out of this mm. I just want like out of this or just trust me to be me in it mm. and then i found out my manager was working at the label so mm. i was like that's a big conflict of interest mm. that's a so i don't even know how you're representing me because you could anything you're saying like you could be trying to save face mm -hmm. and it's like the label had an impression of me that i'm very difficult and i would mm -hmm. always say like yo I, maybe i can be a bit difficult because it's your art in it but mm -hmm. at the same time I don't know what that person is relating on mm. my behalf. Yeah. So then it's like, what's happened is, is that it's got to the um, end of my deal mm. and then, or the end of the first part of my deal. And then they didn't want to pay for the follow-up advance. Mm. They were like, yo, we want to like, like we want to carry on with you, but we want to pay a hundred grand less. And I was like, that's violating the contract. Why don't mm. you just let me go? And it's like, no, nah, but I, I own you. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. And I like recorded that conversation. And then... Oh, no, literally they said, I own you. Literally. So I was like, bad. I feel uncomfortable with you saying this, innit? Who said that? The the label guy? Or the manager? One, one of them, yeah. One of the, one, don't have to say the name. Don't have to say the name, but someone in the building. I just wanted to know. No, I wanted to know if it was not, not manager, the manager. But someone in, someone someone in the building. Someone yeah. Who your manager also works for more indirectly. Yeah, and then so I'm, it. the manager that worked with the label I was, you, was yeah. like... Yeah, man, you should just take that deal. I said, yo, you know I know how much I've made this label, right? Like, mm -hmm. I, like I know how much I've made this label. I'm not taking that deal. That don't make sense. Mm -hmm. And they're like, um, yeah, well, you know, like, we're not sure where this is going to go. So I was like, let me go then. Mm -hmm. I was like, I know where this is going to go. Let me go. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're like, nah, but we really liked working with Harley Caprio. Like, I was like, not that much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm. And on top of it, they were stopping you from bringing out release of music. Yeah. That's what they'll yeah. do. That's what they'll do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm like, you're not letting the story progress, isn't it? Like, mm. like not every song am I trying to hit here, 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 here. Let me just carry on my story. And then, you know, like, bro, Drake don't drop Hotline Bling mm. every day. Mm -hmm. That's his biggest song. Mm. But he's not trying to drop that every day. I was like, you lot want me to like have 
a career that's huge or you say you want me to have a career that's huge and you're not expressing us you're not letting me express myself so then what's happened is um i've again this is my negligence of who where i was at at the time or how i was at the time mm. my manager was the person that connected me to my lawyer no, it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so now I'm not. Nice. Yeah, nice. So, so now you're in spider web now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm like telling my lawyer, yo, like I want to leave. I want to leave. Like, da -da -da -da. and he's just like, oh well, mate. You know, like, like this is a mm. tough situation. But yeah, you should be able to leave. I'm like, but you're not acting on it mm. because wow, how can they keep me and offer me less? That's that's them violating mm. the contract. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. So then. What happened one day? I just, I just sat to all, all of them. I got a new lawyer, yeah. and I got a new manager. And even actually, I had a manager that was a friend mm. saying, "Nah, you're not getting out of this situation." I was like, "Bro, how can everyone try and wrong me right now?" Mm -hmm. And then I'm just meant to be a victim of this right now. Mm -hmm. And then I felt like in my heart, my heart was saying, "You're not getting further with these people." Mm -hmm. uh, the day I sat to my brethren, yeah, the next day. I got everything that I wanted. Like I got a deal that was like yeah. four times more. Come on. And I was just like, bro, like four you niggas said I weren't getting that. Like, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? And then it was like a 50-50 deal and everything. And the manager that had been like working with the label and saying I should take a hundred less, he was like, look mate, like, you know, like look how things work out. You got like four times more, this is <laughs> wicked. Mm. And I was like, bro, like, <laughs> I was like, no shame, you, yeah. know? you get me? And it's like, these men, I'm just like, I'm just like, wow, like you lot really tried to get me whilst I was weak. And during that period, I was venting to them. I was like, no, I'm not in the best place, man. And they took advantage. Yeah, so that seems to be to the question I was going to ask you. Come for one, you're saying they're taking advantage there anyway. I ask you personally, I'm not going to make a judgment call. Do you think they care about you? Do you think them labels care about you as it? Of course not. I don't think so. Did you, when you first went through the doors, did you feel like, you're young, did you feel like they had your, you're green to it? Did you feel like you had, they had your best interests at heart? The team that I had, I think, mm. liked me. They like, li liked you? Yeah, yeah. they liked me, mm. but, or they liked what I could do. Mm. But by the time that I've done, done Best Life, two, most of the team is gone. Yeah. So then it's like, no one's in the building actually representing me. Mm. And like, yeah. even the person that told me my manager was working for the label was like, oh, don't say that, I said that. And I was just like, bro, so what are you lot are try like, trying to keep this a secret from me? Mm -hmm. Realistically speaking, you're just a product for yeah. now to them. That, let's be on, let's call it how it is. The labels, they'll grab you, like you said, like you said, mm -hmm. they'll take you, they wanna, they'll squeeze all the juice out of you, they'll get everything they can out of you, get their money's worth. And then if you're not making their money or you're not giving them that next hit that they want, mm -hmm. mm. yeah, you're more or less old news, like let's start looking for the next one mm -hmm. and so on yeah. and so forth. Totally blame them, though. I, again? I think they're just totally insecure. I think they're just insecure themselves. Mm -hmm. Cause like- they're, and, they they're, don't, and they don't know the, they don't know the music and they don't know they the don't culture. Know the music. But there should also be a do. What's the the thing of care? Like, do you get what I mean? Like, even though it's, I get what you're saying about it's a business and whatever, but to a certain extent, they need people, people are people in it. They need people in the if they care. If they get that's what I'm saying. It should, they need should people be some in the care. buildings that can understand. I don't that think can, it's the case for all of them, but I think no, there's a lot of just. That's why I say we can't generalize. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We say I like think the there's a lot of envy of and jealousy in it because it's like who's this little shit from Croydon mm. that's doing all of this, this, this? I think there's like a. They look at us as arrogant mm. because they're just, I think there's an envy of, wow, you got to chase your dream. Mm -hmm. I think that's underlying burning them. Yeah. Cause it's like, look, he hasn't, he's not even got manners. Like he's not even got this, this, this. Cause at that time, like I was, I was respectful, but I would say cheeky things. Isn't it? Mm. And I think that doesn't help the scenario in it because mm. you know, when you talk to certain insecure people, mm. you, you might need to tiptoe around your words. Mm -hmm. isn't it? And I think that's always gonna be like the case in it. Mm. Like until people know themselves and like accept accept just life, mm. there's always just gonna be that tension between execs and artists. Because mm. artists are seen as unrealistic. But if you're not unrealistic, you won't get here because it's not realistic to get here. Mm. You get I me? Mean? Like, how can you now tell me realistically there's nothing real about what I'm doing? 
You get what I'm trying to say? And it's like, you want me to now look at life like you. But if I looked at life like you, I would not be here. Mm -hmm. So it's that's like, why don't you... But then, no, actually, I can't say that. But I was going to say, there's that... There's just always going to be that conflict. Mm -hmm. I look at life one way, you look at life the other way. Mm -hmm. And that's that's it. It's also the thing of, like, we find it at work sometimes, like, we talk, we talk about it where it's like... You, when the person on the ground like earns more than the actual management. Do you get what I mean? And earns yeah. more than the establishment. And sometimes that's a struggle because they want to lay down power, but in their mind, like like you say, the insecurities of where they look at man and think, well, he's a high earner. Yeah. I can, like, there's that battle where they try to put you in a certain position and buoy you off or shelve you and do all of that yeah. to kind of take back some of the power and really- Since I've been in the league, me? I've never heard a positive conversation. Like, I've never heard keep any- down anything positive mm. about any artist. It's just like, yep, he done that, but it's a fluke. Yep, he done that, but he's gonna be in a mental asylum. Yep, he done that, but this, 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 this. It's like, you lot hate all of us. Mm -hmm. Bruh. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm like, wow, you actually hate all of us. And that's mm -hmm. the energy. That's why I said like demons, like that's the energy that they're yeah. festering, isn't it? Yeah. And then eventually like, I'm guilty. I then become cynical. That's all I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like they've taken the joy out of it. Cause it's like, yo, this, this, this. I, bro, I don't hear positive conversations in that building. So ever. what advice would you give to yourself? If you could go back to when you were having your first meeting, yeah. What advice would you give yourself? Would you even take the meeting? Um, yeah, if I could talk to myself, I would say, yeah, don't take the meeting and go get some therapy. Mm. You get me? That's what I would say. Mm. Would like, you just stay independent? Get yourself right. No, yeah, get yourself right. That, get yourself right. Mm. Get yeah. yourself right. Because there's money don't, like, how you gonna win if you ain't right within? Mm -hmm. Like Lauren Hill said. Yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? For so real. you could have all the money Mm -hmm. You could you could be balling out of control. It could be Scrooge McDuck paper swimming in that shit. Trust you understand? Me, yeah. But yeah. you want to feel good within yourself. Get yourself right. So that's what you do. If you could go all the way back, therapy first things first. I respect yeah. that. Yeah, that's I respect cool. that. That's yeah. why I, that's why I say it's a work in progress. Therapy. Yeah. Yeah. It's something I haven't done it, but I I, I read enough to kind of get it. It's a work in progress. You're working on yourself. You take it day by day and so on and mm -hmm. so forth. But. I think I feel like you're handling yourself very well, bro. And I think Thank that you, the, the 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 self self awareness that you have is is gonna help carry you a long way. Mm -hmm. Like people don't understand, like because you 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 wrote what you wrote and put it out there. There's people that have hit me, and the first thing is, oh, did you see my man? My man's gone mad, or oh, did you see my man's? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, check. Oh, oh, you better check on my. Mm -hmm because they're not used to someone speaking so open. Mm -hmm. The open speak, speaking can be that a man's at peace, like a man's yeah. confident, yeah, 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 at yeah, peace enough. enough within himself to say, this is this, this is what's happened, this is mm -hmm. what's going on, this is how I'm feeling. Like, that, takes, that takes strength, you know? Mm -hmm. That takes mm -hmm. strength to make to take that step for, yeah. for a young man as well. Mm -hmm. Now you said you've always felt like the anchor, or you've yeah. always been the anchor. Yeah. I, I know what that means to me, but for yourself, what did you mean by that, bro? So like, I just held the, like, yard together like mm -hmm. i held the yard together like i got my mum out into like the suburbs and all of that <laughs> all of that stuff that like, i worked and worked and like i would bring everyone that like, i was almost like the peace within my household mm -hmm. throughout all of it like i would make my i would heal my mum mm -hmm. uh, i would keep my dad at bay like i would stop him like being a certain way mm -hmm. like so it's just even like now with my siblings, it's like people want to turn to me. Like, yo, it's H, H, Hardy, 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 Hardy. And I'm like, nigga, I'm tired, you know? That's a <laughs> boosting, bro. Yeah, I was like, I'm tired. I was like, raw, like, because even with my, like, with the, with all the success that I had, like, I think, but all of that went towards sorting my family situation. Mm, that's like, that's that, real. That that it went towards sorting my family situation first and foremost, mm -hmm. and I was just like, yeah, man. Like I think I'm grateful that I done that. I think it puts my mind at ease. Mm -hmm. But I was like, yo, man, that's a that's a lot still. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? A, a lot on young shoulders. A lot on young shoulders as well. A lot yeah. of responsibility, and, all that, and you've dealt with it well. Why do you think there's such a taboo on men speaking about their feelings? 
man them are scared innit that's what I think it is because I think anyone that would say that hasn't really you ain't seen life you get what I'm trying to say you ain't mm -hmm. actually seen life you ain't your brethren ain't died your thingy ain't like you, your niggas ain't in prison you ain't mm -hmm. seen like imagine having like your pops not like you when you're growing up for that like, you ain't seen much mm. so it's almost like a blessing that that then like of course they're scared of life life is scary mm. whereas i'm just like I, i'm too tired to be scared of life <laughs> i'm too tired <laughs> like you get me i've like, been through way too much yeah i'm just like i've like been in a household for the lies i'm like i'm not lying in it like do you get what i'm trying to say like i'm i'm even tired of the lies Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo, today I feel bad, tomorrow I feel good. Mm -hmm. We move with it and who can tell me anything? Mm -hmm. No one can tell me anything. Do you get me? Because imagine someone saying, yeah, like, imagine someone saying, yeah, he's gone mad. I've gone mad and I'm going to chill in the house that I bought my mum. Mm -hmm. That's right. Fucking hell, I yeah, don't yeah. mind being that mad. You get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's like, it's like, I think you need to be a bit mad to even get here. Like, I think the madness got me here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, I know what you I, mean. I know I what you mean. I say, sometimes, yeah. I say I'm a man. Listen, I say I'm a man. Yeah. I, I relate to that. Yeah, I'm a mad man. I, I, always say, man. I always say jokingly, man, I'm, I'm not the full ticket. And yeah. I think when people, when you know me, know me, you know how I joke around or how a man play about and that you feel like, rah, there must be something uh, kind of slightly all of, of, all of us have a little madness. In this is it. I get what I'm saying. But I wouldn't, say in any way you're the kind of mad that they that they're trying to talk about mm -hmm. i think yeah. it's just a brave i think it's yeah, just a course. brave and i think the artists that like you see what it is in life i think the people that hold everything in mm -hmm. go mad yeah, yeah. hundred they, they go mad because i was going i was like yo like am i just gonna come come back and do music and pretend like i ain't been hurting mm -hmm. you get what i'm trying to say like i'm just gonna like i have been hurting of mm -hmm. course you but know I mean? did you think did you know that when you put the reaction that you would get, did the reaction surprise you? Did you know how much of a stir it would cause? Cause I know um, you're intelligent. Did you um, I wouldn't say, I didn't think it would be as positive as it was. Mm. But you I've think been- You think gonna get more negative for you? Yeah. Stuff, yeah. But I do think the world's been hurting. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to We're say? There's a lot like, of pain, bro. Yeah. There's a lot of pain, like even like, you know, the recession's coming, like people- Every are austerity, mm. everything. Everything. Yeah. And I think the more people speak, like you said, you was watching me talk about my brother. You're speaking out on what you're speaking on. Mm. I think where the more people with some influence mm. show like, can just talk, these things happen, but mm -hmm. it's real. Like this is what we're coming off. This is what we're coming from. The more people will feel comfortable to it. And we've always been big on that in this platform. Mm -hmm. So I've got to salute you still. We've always been big on that mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. Man, them speak whatever you want to speak. Mm -hmm. We're all going through yeah. things. It ain't all flipping. It's not always flipping. Um, Ace of Spades and, 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 and yeah, this, that, that, that other, you understand? Mm. You understand? And, and, and the best restaurants and all of that. Sometimes it's just hardship and pain mm -hmm. and suffering, bro. We've suffered. None of us have suffered to, mm -hmm. suffered to get here. We were mm. people that have, even if the suffering isn't first hand to us, we've got years of lineage of suffering. You understand? Yeah. Man's, yeah. Man, a man's come from a Sierra Leone background mm. where there's pain in our DNA. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Loss. Yeah, you see war. what I'm saying? And which is causing uh, some of our relatives to act a certain way. And they might not even know, but they've never had a chance to heal. So we might be the first generation of where we're speaking and trying to get some healing across. Mm. Yeah. By vocalising, we can start to try, just try to break some cycles. Yeah, just try. Yeah, we yeah. can't guarantee it. We're only human, but yeah. we can try. That's what Harley, he's trying. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Trying, you're, 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 you're speaking on stuff that we can't always brush things under the carpet and be mm. like, oh yeah, no, it will get dealt with somewhere down the line. Nah, man, this or you is my think pain. You'll forget it. Or you're internalizing the pain. What you said there earlier about people go mad from not venting. I always say this, like, even if it's something small, say something makes me angry. I say, oh, no, I've got, I've got to lay it off tonight or else I'll lose sleep. Because that's yeah. what happens. It starts to eat you from yeah, inside. Yeah, I've heard you say that. You know, you always say that, <laughs> innit? Now, if I'm pissed with someone, yeah, you're going to hear from me the same yeah, night, bro. Yeah. Because mm. I, you understand? So yeah. keeping all of that in, it's, it's good for you and therapeutic. Yeah. To, um, to get that off your chest. Trust me. Definitely. Trust I feel me. like now, I can actually be happy. 
Yeah. You get what I'm not holding that. Not holding it in. Not yeah, holding yeah, it in, bro. Yeah. It's like a weight off you, a lot. Give you a new lease of life, man. Dropping new, man. Dropping living my best life too. Yeah. You know, you like. Know what I'm to say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, 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 yeah. You're there, bro. So Trust what's yeah. you're there. so what's next for you now after this re- realization? I think what I'm you just gonna next? go back to being bold, man. Like I want to just enjoy what I'm doing. You get what I'm trying to say? Take risks in the music that I make. Speak about like the success that I have. But now I can enjoy it. Like yeah. I know that it's not coming from like a a, a negative place. Like I'm not mentioning these things. Mm. To be fair, I've never mentioned things to kind of stunt on my audience anyway. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like raw, like through everything that I've been through, let a nigga be happy, man. Yeah. I'm happy now. Do you yeah. get me? Yeah. That's like, great, great. Come like, on, that's, I love that. I feel yeah. like I want to communicate that with the audience. It's like, look, I'll show you the lows that I've had mm-hmm. so that you can appreciate the highs that we can all have. Mm-hmm. Talk, 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 you get know what I'm mm-hmm. gonna say? But if man don't accept that, and you can't, you're running away from that. You'll never be happy, bro. Imagine me now with all the success that I've had, that I start doing like greasy music. Yeah. That don't make sense, don't bro. I wake up in the burbs, bro. I remember yeah. I called my brethren <laughs> once, yeah. It's sweet in the burbs. I called my brethren once, yeah, and they were like talking about how I don't like rap like certain bars no more. Mm. I was like, fam, I just packed my dishwasher, bro. My life ain't really yeah, that. Yeah, it's not yeah, really yeah, like yeah, that, that no more. more. <laughs> you get me? Yeah. I, I packed the dishwasher. I sat down and I watched TV and I was like, I like this though. I actually like bro, this. Bro, you yeah. didn't work that hard to stay the same, bro. Yeah. You exactly. work that hard to improve things. You can't always stay the same. Does it make you feel like you want to change the style of music you're making? No, it makes me want to be bolder with it. And mm. just like, you get me like, yo, because it even got to the point, I remember we were talking about um, a video treatment in um, in my label situation. And I was like, why'd you keep showing us how good your life is? And I was like, oh, fuck off, man. I was like, yo, like, to be fair, when I grew up, I didn't watch a lot of music videos, mm-hmm. to be fair. I liked, like, Meek Mill videos because they mm-hmm. felt like the camera was just there and he was living. Mm-hmm. I'm not here to really, there's some artists that are sick. They're going to mm-hmm. dance for you. Mm-hmm. They're going to, like, give you some, like, Mozart sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm just here for you to live with, bro. I'm just another brother. Like, you get me? Mm-hmm. I'm just another nigga from ends. So. Telling, his, telling his story. Yeah, like, I don't think it's some, spe- I'm some special story. I'm mm-hmm. some crazy different story. But I think that's the, the special thing about it. Mm-hmm. You get me? If I, like, n- sounds mad corny, but if I can do it, why can't other people do yeah, it? Let them know. Straight. You get see, me? See, because music, you know how rap is. It's kind of ego-based. 100%. Mm-hmm. Do you think this can affect you in any ways or have any effect on like, the possibilities and some things that can go on your music because you've opened up on this? Is that a concern to you or have you thought about that? I think my best music came from without ego, mm. to be honest with you. like If you think about rapper, I, I couldn't make that if I saw myself as a rapper. Facts. Mm-hmm. I was like, you think I'm a rapper? I don't even think that. I'm just vibing, be like, you get me? I'm just, I'm just here, like, raw. You, you, you like that? Because mm. it's like the minute it becomes about ego, you stop enjoying certain mm. things. I've been in, I've been in um studio with rappers, yeah, and they're like, oh, I was gonna talk about the Benz, but a Benz ain't even a mad car. I was like, to who? Like, mm. <laughs> like to, to who? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, like, yeah. some people ain't never been in a Benz, bro. Like, yeah. And it's like, it becomes a thing of people trying to stunt on each other within mm. the industry. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? And then it's like, it's not a healthy environment. Like your art has suffered from it. I think yeah. ego, ego ruins music. Facts. Yeah. I think ego completely ruins music. It might work for rap music, like, but I don't like, I don't really like mm. a lot of rap music. Mm-hmm. You get me? I like music from the soul, innit? Music from the soul. And do you know what I thing I always say as well? When it comes to rap music, yeah, you can be timeless if you're telling your story. 100%. If you're, if you're gimmicking, I always say it's man them know, I've always said it. If there's a gimmick to you, you can only last for a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. But if you're telling a story yeah. and you're just telling your story, it can't get dated because it's your story, you understand? Yeah, so if you're talking yeah. it from your soul or from your heart, you can have that longevity. So 100%. I feel you. So when, when you come back, with your new projects and this and you're and you're you're talking and you know you know meek you say meek meek will always come with them started off poor you understand them mm. stories there where you mm. can follow the journey you understand yeah, exactly. so nah buddy you can't go wrong the sky's the limit I, you've because i've known and seen you for a while i've seen you about mm. and and i can relate to it looking at you i'd say there's times where i'd say that a little bit anti anti-social mm. 
I was probably the that's, that's probably I was. That's not let me not try sugarcoat it. No, mm-hmm. I'm grown in it. Like uh, yeah, bad about laughing. So let me not try to say probably. <laughs> it? I was hella anti social, fam. Yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah. Hella, I didn't want to mingle with next artists. I didn't want to mingle outside my family, my crew. Yeah. But may, maybe I still am to an extent. But mm-hmm. I was bad, bad then. Wouldn't do collabs. Wouldn't do this. I was nowhere near as big an artist like what you was because it was a different time and stuff. But yeah. Do you think that you being kind of anti-social, has it affected your relationship with artists in any way? Or am I wrong? Was you even anti-social like that? No, I was a bit anti-social. But yeah, like, yeah. In a, in a, like, I'll play it off. Like, I didn't, I was just like, I think I was condescending. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because I was looking at yeah. you, I, 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 I listen to people's lyrics, yeah? Mm. And if someone said, oh, I'm like, say, I'm sad that Broski got in prison. I'm like, what? You're still sad about that? Look, I got like 12. I was like, I, I was like trauma shaming, man. I was like, yo, I got like 12, man. It's all right. Like, mm, yeah. mm, mm. you get me? So I would always look at other people and like, it would be from like the wrong place, innit? Because mm-hmm. I think now nah, it's like, to be fair, like, I, again, I'm straightforward. I might say to man, like, you know what? I was a bit bad then, I apologize. Because mm-hmm. I think every rapper, believe it or not, they just want people to like them. Mm-hmm. As well, isn't it? Like you, mm-hmm. that's what you do it for. You don't put out. Mm-hmm. But I made music just for myself. I would record the song, and I'll close the laptop, and I would only put it on my phone. I wouldn't yeah. go through the effort of doing a video and that. So it's just like I think it definitely affected my um, relationships with, mm-hmm. like early on, in it. Mm-hmm. But I think me just, even me just being like making statements like the things on like Bro. Twitter, I feel like I bring the right energy around me. And if you don't Dude. mess with it, then you're not the right person to be around. 100%. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you're strong. Like I get that strong energy from you that you're not going to suffer no fools. And you're not going to take bullshit. So yeah. Um, you put, when you put it the other day, because I, I put it on my story, like when you put it the other day that someone contacted you and was like, yeah. oh, you shouldn't have done this because it weren't masculine and all that. Yeah. Well, I don't say who obviously, but what did they, what, someone really just hit you and said, do you know what it is? Yeah. The, he, he went the long way around to say I actually respect it though, but okay, I started got like you, got you, got you. I was I was in a like a in a in a strong in a stubborn headspace yeah. So because it was the next day. Yeah. 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 So you're, so you're like you're you're preparing yourself. Yeah, you're preparing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My <laughs> shoes up. Yeah. So he does like some long speech. I'm like brother. Like do you know what? Respectfully, yeah. You can't chat to man. I was like, you can't chat to man about being masculine. I was like, how can you chat to me about me? Mm. And, then, and then I done the story, yeah. And I was like, and then um, I called him because I was like, do you know what though? Let me actually like hear him on the, because the voice note was a bit mm. long. Mm-hmm. Then I called him and he was just like, nah, if you got to the end, it might, you might have clocked that I was like bigging you up. I was man like, has like, oh, yeah. the big up at the beginning. Yeah, bro, yeah, you got, yeah. yeah. Man, I was first like, things first. <laughs> first things got first, bro. Seconds. Yeah, first things first, big, big up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's where you got started. And then we'll man go from there, you know? Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, was, I was like, it, it was 40 seconds, yeah. And he was just saying, yeah, you know, that like, like, there's certain things man can't say. And, and I was like, bro, are you, like, are you telling me what I should be saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, That's wild. And yeah. the least, man. Yeah, and then he then he flipped it all at the end. He's like, but that's why I rate what you said. Okay. Do you get me? But, but he went I, the long yeah, way yeah, around. Yeah. So he didn't really he didn't really do that, and his delivery was just off. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I saw that because people was tagging me. But people were tagging me saying, I bet it was past Sterling that rang him. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah. What is that? A man's got me up. Like, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I had to make it clear. These times you lot don't know. I spoke to man before it even come out. We had yeah. a conversation, yeah. and it's just bare support for for mm. for my for my little bro there, man. Yeah. Bare yeah. support because like. It takes courage, bro. Mm-hmm. It takes courage to step up and say, yeah, I'm going to speak on something because it's what I need to do for my own personal. I'm tired of, I don't want to hold it in. I don't want to keep this in. I need to get this off my chest yeah, for, me yeah, to, mm-hmm. for me to feel free, for me to feel light. I'm carrying this. I'm carrying all of this. I mean, yeah. it's weighing me mm-hmm. down. So I'm going to just speak on it. And yeah. who feels how they feel, it's up to them. So if nah. I didn't do it, I felt like I would be an industry nigga. That's how I felt. I was like, am I... Am I a part of the industry if I if I can't just be myself? Yeah, mm. I'm like, am I like in for a reason to not look mad or for not? Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you when you don't care, you just put it out. You just exactly you that. I'm what? So I was just like, yo, like now, like I was like, with all of this being said, I'm gonna say the worst, the most vulnerable thing I can say, mm. and just free myself from that thought ever because I don't want to look at myself mad in it. Like, I want to be like, yo. No, nah, you're you're a lit nigga. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. No one can chat to you because I remember like me and my brethren were talking about it, and he's like, "I hope you don't ever like come out and say that." And I was like, 
brother, like, I'm just me, innit? Like, I was like, when I was doing all of these things, I didn't give a fuck then. Mm. So if I give a fuck about this, mm -hmm. like, and let it rain over me, that that's that's just me changing who I am, essentially. Mm. Like, I don't Bro, want to change. And, and some of the things you spoke on, and not to go back to into it now, but man, you said three to five years old, you're. Like a baby, like a child, bro. Like there's nothing that can be done. Like there's nothing, man. What yeah. man ain't gonna scuff and or nothing. There's nothing yeah, you can yeah, do. Can like, you do. Yeah, like there's nothing you can and do. Like, like is it's what it is. Like you said, you did. You, like you didn't remember till. Later yeah, you don't know that. till you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? And, and and you're addressing it okay. and making it known. You're calling people out and it and making it known. You're seeking the therapy. You're doing the things for mm. yourself to make yourself feel. Mm -hmm. Oh, to be right, okay at, right at, at, at a minimum to be okay. So you're going about things in the right way. You're open about going therapy. You're just talking the thing. Mm. Bear, bear ratings. Bear ma that's proper masculine shit right mature. there, bro. Mature, yeah, bro. Mm. Like, but the man's mature beyond his years anyway. Yeah. How do you feel working with the labels now? Now that you're back with doing what you're doing, how does it feel? Uh, I'm not working with them right now. You My know. guy. <laughs> My guy. I'm not working you're with them indie. right You're now. doing an independent thing right now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But distribution. Um, we're, we're in talks with distribution, but good, obviously good, it's got to be the price, got to be right, because obviously we've, we funded a lot of things ourselves, isn't it? Like, because mm. that's just, for me, like, this was, like I said, my passion, like my therapy. Mm. And I was just like, no one's going to love it mm. as much as me, innit? Mm -hmm. And you get me? And if you're asking people for their money, you have to be ready for their input. That's right. So it's like, I, I think you got to respect that, innit? That is, yeah. That's just the way of the world. Mm -hmm. Do you think these labels, not that they would, because I don't think they care about us like that, for the mm -hmm. most part, from what I've seen. Do you think they should have therapists on deck? They should have people, or if not therapists, at least more people of the culture that genuinely understand what's going on. Say, yeah. in a, people that have come up in a way that understand, that can understand you more or someone like such as yourself. More. I think labels just need to change their structure, man. I think it's set up for disaster if you're mm. taking an 80, 20 split. That like, it's like- See if, why I've always claimed ownership. Ownership. Yeah, 80, 20 split. Ownership. Your 20% 20, your 20 goes towards recouping. So if you make, if you get a hundred bag deal, you have to pay back 500. Mm. You have to make 500 off the 20% that you're earning. Mm. Does that, so it's like you've probably made I, God knows how much you've made before you've got 500 bags yeah. ownership of, yeah so, so I was just cool. like do you know what I think that that recipe is set up for disaster because unless you become Ed Sheeran unless That's you right. become them and they th take advantage of us coming from impoverished areas and yeah to the point where yeah but but here's the thing but here's the thing though doug scratch it here's the here's the thing though you can hear the 80 20 now because but, but wait, because hardly 80 broke. to you 80 to you or no, 20 to them doug, come on doug. that's what i'm saying that's it's, what i'm saying they're taking, they're taking, you're taking the 20 in it yeah yeah, yeah. But, but here's the thing they don't present it to you like that they present it to you in figures and the mm. figures sound bossy when you hear them you're thinking what is that what i'm going to be making mm. i'm lying mm. but really it's when you get to understand what's really going on but That's yeah. when you see like, oh, they're telling you, oh, 100 bags, this, that, that, 200, 300 bags. Uh -huh. But when you look at what they're making, for you off the back of your work, that's when you really yeah, see yeah, what's going. Yeah. That's why you got to be vigilant in these things. When you say you got to pay got back the advance out of your twenty, uh, your twenty, your twenty percent goes towards recouping it. So you're getting the small share. Yeah, but, it's but going, on top of it, you still got to pay back the, the yeah that, that upfront money. Yeah, from yeah, that, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. It's so crazy, like, isn't it? So it's like I knew like. That's what, what annoyed me, because I was like, I know I'm in the green. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Off my small 20%. Yeah. How dare you try to offer me and less? Then, Are you crazy? And then how dare them there, put as a label, this is what's mad, even what you're saying and everything I'm hearing. How dare, like, you see like a, um, that's like with Arsenal, with their, the personal development coach, that, yes. that yes. Garcia yeah. brother. Yeah, like, so have labels not got someone like that? Like, oh, we're not because, saying that, but in the, that's not that's that, in the infrastructure. Because they don't care because that how, much. If, if you've got artists, how you not gonna, if you've got artists and they're making you money, yeah. wouldn't you want their, their no, but here's the thing, here's to the be thing. in the best state With, it can uh, be? An elite, an, elite, an elite footballer is extremely hard to come by. A talented youth from the block, they would say there's a diamond. They're gonna look at it and be like, yeah, we can get another one. Then we got so and so, and we got so. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you, you see mean. what I'm saying? That's how they look it. So they they mean. don't they don't value they they, they don't, don't value, value the thing. And, and until the, until the, if you start making them crazy numbers, yeah, then, you understand? Yeah, then yeah, they'll, yeah, they understand? Yeah, yeah. Then they understand? Then I still don't think they'll value you. They still, they still that. won't. It's just, it's just like they're willfully ignorant. You have to yeah. be some level of detaching it because they like the way they sign artists. If you get attached to every artist, mm. they they that you're fucking yourself up. Yeah, you I think maybe you just sign less artists 
mm-hmm. and then work with ones that you actually believe in. Mm-hmm. But I think for them, it's musical chairs. It's a business, isn't it? It's just, mm-hmm. it's just business. Biz- it's just business. That's it's just that's business, it. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. Especially if they don't come from our world, they don't come from it No understanding, they, no care. There's no empathy. Do you get what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, it's yeah. like when like feds will arrest you, yeah? And mm-hmm. you know they don't care, like, you get me? Like, mm-hmm. uh, how many men have been arrested? I've been arrested, like, uh, how many times when I was uh, young? And it's like, they're talking to man like shit. Like, I'm not even a, a kid. Like, you'll be arresting man at 13. And it's like, he, I remember the f- first time I got arrested. No, it wasn't the first time. Like, second time I got arrested, the Fed pulled up for me. And he's like, if you'd done that in my area, you would have got a bloody nose, mate. Kept man overnight. Yeah. It was just <laughs> wrong place, wrong time. They were like, bro, I was wearing a purple coat. And he was like, yeah, you got matched with someone's identity. I was like, bro, I'm wearing a purple coat. Like, that yeah. was a, ri- that, mm. you get me? How can you mistake? Yeah. How can you mistake someone? But there you go, innit? Yeah. You said you never got a chance to be a well put together person. Yeah. Do you feel like this is the beginning stages of you putting yourself together well? No, I think I'm a little bit tapped, but in a good way now. Do you get me? (laughs) (laughs) That is a a good way, innit? Because I think it's like, I'm not really like too, I'm still going to be super logical. I'm still going to be super like, I can be detached. I won't be detached, yeah. But I'm just like, but now it's a healthy way of looking at yeah, the world. You understand you your madness. Saying? Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to yeah. say? Outside of outside of therapy, have you got other good people around you now? Do you feel like you've got good? Definitely. Nah, I think I, I've got a good support system. And the good thing as well is that you speak, bro. How you speak, even when you just describe and saying, oh yeah, your bridging said, oh, don't ever speak on that. It shows you were already speaking on that. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. some people won't speak. You're just gonna hold it and be like, no, no, bottle can't. it up. And bottle like, it right. up. Yeah. And then next minute it's a madness. But no, nah, that vocalizing, that venting, bro. I can't big you up enough, man. Yeah, I can't big you up it, enough, man. brother. Mm. And I'm here for it. any like, you got my number, you got access to here anytime you want, if you wanna get something across. And um, how you put that statement out and how you put what you put out was just, was just bold, bro. Doug, anything you want to ask the big man before we start? Before yeah, we start, we covered a lot, bro. Yeah, we covered a lot still, yeah, innit? We covered a lot, and it's been a pleasure to have you here, yeah, bro. Appreciate and, like, it, and just to follow on from what P said, just respect what you're doing, hmm. that, and, and the message that you're putting out there, big stepping message. out, and it's and a big message, huge. man. So. And you said, this will not be how my story ends. Trust mm. me. You said it with, you said that, it's powerful, bro. Yeah, like you're yeah. taking control of the narrative. You're letting people, this might be what have gone on, but this is not how the story ends and it's not mm. going to be the end of the story. No, I That's, mean. You're returning that corner, returning a page right now, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's going to be a beautiful chapter, man. This is it, It's going to be a beautiful chapter still, I'm not going to lie to you. two coming back again, you get me? Yeah, man. Rising like a phoenix, you get me? At the, you know, like amen, ashes, amen. You so yeah, man, yeah. I feel like with the next next chapter of my life, bro, like, I'm going to just be bold, innit? You get me? Mm-hmm. But they want you to, like, a lot of people want you to be as miserable as them. That's just it. Like they don't want you to be like a proud, a proud young successful black you. Mm. It's like, but you lot were happy when I was in the course. So why are you not happy when I'm in the Bentley B? Mm-hmm. Why are you not happy, bro? I'm happy for you, bro. Yeah, Man, yeah. I'm happy for you. Round of applause. Yeah. Round of applause. Yeah. No, no, we're clapping for you, bro. We're clapping for you. <laughs> we're clapping for you, man, bro. We're clapping. No, you ain't got clap. We're yeah, clapping for you. Start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, because because you deserve it. Mm-hmm. We come from flipping dire straits. Horrible situations, Real terrible shit. circumstances. Mm. You understand that they couldn't even imagine, and we still, we still dress better than them. Mm. Yeah, you understand. We still I, look better than them. You give mm, us the the raw mm. the, the, the raw materials, and we shine up nice. You give us the most basic of clothes, and we'll make ourselves make look, it work. We'll make it work. You understand? Good. Hundred percent. We we make the songs that the world dances to. You understand? It, yeah. Coming from these estates and these. You know, poverty dri- mm-hmm. driven areas. And if they could make it themselves, they, they would come in here and take him and give him a deal. Yeah. No, nah, nothing, but, nothing but love, support, good vibes, energy, and kudos and respect for just talking your thing, bro. Hey, mm-hmm. Talking Thank your you. thing. And, and that's how the world works. And that's how God works. Like I said, I was sitting in my house, minding my business, and Sutton mm-hmm. said, reach out to the young Don and just mm-hmm. let him know. Before he came out with any statements, it was just straight off the, straight off the strength. Mm-hmm. You get know what I'm saying to you? So, and here we are now. Here we are. We wrap it up. Yo. Anything else? What's coming? Anything you want to let the people them know what's coming, or are we just we just moving in silence until it's time? It's coming soon. That's all. That's, that's all, you, that's the all they need to know. Coming soon. Don't still. say a word. Party season. Yeah, man. Come Amen. on, my bro. Bam, bam, nothing bam. but love. Winners Thank Talking you. Podcast is another one. Stop.